Hello guys, welcome back to my channel on a new video of count function series that is currently running into my channel. Sometimes it really feels awkward when we use a formula or function of Microsoft Excel in a cell range and it shows error somewhere and we really do not have any idea that in how many cells it contain errors however sometimes we need to count the cell function errors to get some specific result or reports so today in this video we are going to have a look into the process that can be easier to count cells that contains errors so watch this video till the end this is your host Pritam and you're watching technical portal YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel and friends after the video ends please have a look into my channel playlist and also check the description box there you will find the link of the excel data file which I am using in this video so without wasting any time let's begin Welcome back friends. For your easy reference I am going to run the OSK software that means the on screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. And I have already created a file previously to save time. Here it is. I have a simple data file to show you the process to count cells that contains errors you can use the isError function wrapped in the sum product function. In this example we have to use the sum product function at first like this look at here carefully equals to sum product then you have to here it is showing that you have to select the array 1 array 2 like this so here at first you have to add double hyphen note carefully you have to use the double hyphen here then you have to use the is error function then it is asking for value now here you have to select your table array here right and in my case the table array is from b5 to b9 then you have to simply close the brackets and hit the enter button look at here 1 2 and 3 we have three errors into our table array and it is showing you the accurate result right so let's check how this formula actually works the sum products accepts one or more arrays, multiplies the arrays together and returns the sum of products as a final result. If only one array is supplied, sum product simply returns the sum of items in the array. The isError function then returns true when a cell contains an error and false if not. In this example, isError receives a range of cells from B5 to B9 as input. Because there are 5 cells in the range, isError evaluates each cell and returns 5 results in an array of true and false values. To coerce the true false values to 1 and zeros, we use the double negative called a double unary. The resulting array looks like this one. Finally, some product sums the items in this array and returns the total, which is 3 in this case. Note carefully, is error counts all errors. If for some reason you want to count all errors except n a you can use the is e doubler function that is this one is doubler that will count without the n a error right look at here we are getting now two here so that's all for today friends hopefully you learned something new in microsoft excel function share this video share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned